We have finally done it. We have reached peak wokeness. I personally find it offensive that we are accusing the United States military of being, quote, woke. This idea of purity, you're always politically woke and all that stuff. Woke in its initial inception meant political consciousness for black people about the histories of anti-blackness uh, in this country and, and globally, rather than this kind of more generalized political consciousness that it came to take up. One thing that I think is a very common misunderstanding about woke is the idea that it was derived from this phrase, stay woke. Woke itself is a standalone word. It's a word that conforms to the syntactic and phonological, which is to say the, the sound system and grammatical principles of African-American English, which has its origins in the South. Awake is synonymous with woke, right? So one might say, I was woke about, let's say 7 a.m. The idea of wakefulness as a concept referring to political consciousness stretches as far back as 1923, uh, and then we see it going all the way up through the 1980s. Marcus Garvey in the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey in the frame of what we might think of as black nationalist tradition, where he says, wake up Ethiopia, wake up Africa, let us work towards the one end of a glorious, uh, redeemed and mighty nation. He's talking about political consciousness in the same way as uh, Lawrence Fishburne's character at the end of School Days in the 1980s film. Wow! 1962, a New York Times article by a guy named Melvin Kelly. If you're woke, you dig it. Writing about cultural appropriation and linguistic appropriation of black language and culture by white people specifically. As early as the 1990s or the late 1980s, you see it more attached to the idea of political correctness. This is the point at which white people, I would suggest, begin using it reflexively. And so it, it doesn't now just have the meaning of uh, thinking about anti-blackness from the perspective of someone who experiences it. More now, it refers to this more general sense of awareness as a marker of general political consciousness, attention to such issues as those environmental, feminist, uh, regarding ability, and so on. Chavez Gambino's song, Redbone, canonized the phrase stay work for a popular audience. While Chavez Gambino might understand that wokeness, uh, at least in its original inception, has a lot to do with our awareness of anti-black oppression. Listeners to the song from a variety of demographics all over the world aren't abreast of that history and now are using it, the phrase, in a way that distorts its meaning. But it has also been taken up more recently by conservatives and it became used in a negative or pejorative fashion, right? Or at least one that is mo mocking or sarcastic. In fact, it's a well-known and popular tactic of uh, conservatives to pick up and shift the meanings of, of individual terms to then weaponize them. I personally find it offensive that we are accusing the United States military, our general officers, our commissioned, non-commissioned officers of being, quote, woke or something else because we're studying some theories that are out there. Mark Milley and Matt Gates arguing about what's woke and what isn't, whether it's good or whether it's bad, where that has nothing to do with the case of the, the Scottsboro Boys or Emmett Till or Trayvon Martin or Sandra Bland or Rodney King or uh, Maude Arbery or Breonna Taylor or George Floyd. I'm not suggesting that it's necessarily a conscious process, but it's the result of the kind of consumption of black culture, which has always had a lot of capital purchase in the United States and pop culture globally. 